All right, guys, here I am. I'm solving some trig equations for a review. This is uh, video 14C for my BC Calc class. I'm going to solve these for all the examples I do in this video from 0 to 2 pi on that interval. Okay, so cosecant x equals negative 2 over root 3. Remember that cosecant is uh, 1 over sine. So this really is where is the sine of x, the reciprocal of that. So I'm looking at negative root 3 over 2. Right? So I'm going to use my unit circle to do that. And if you remember, uh, again, if you don't have a unit circle near you, um, you really just want to make it for these values. So think about where is the sine of x going to be negative root 3 over 2. Sine of x is the y value. Um, so we're looking at the unit circle here. Where is the y value? Negative root 3 over 2. That's going to be right here and right here. Okay, And those angles are when x is... That's going to be 5, I think that's uh, 3, 4 pi over 3, uh, or 5 pi over 3. All right, and that's how you solve that one. Okay, so what about this one? Cotangent theta equals root 3. Well, remember that cotangent is the cosine over the sine. So we're really looking at where's the cosine root 3 over 2, and where's the sine 1 half? so that when we cancel those out, we get root three, okay? Remember that the cosine is the x value, so we're looking for a, this point right here. We're looking for root three over two, one half, and they can also both be negative. So we're also looking for this point here on the unit circle. So where is that gonna happen on the unit circle? That's gonna happen at theta equals seven pi over, uh, pi over six and seven pi over six. This one's going to give us the both negatives. This one's going to give us the both positives. All right? All right, I'll be back for two more examples. All right, folks, I'm back for the last two examples on this video. 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 equals 0. Now, what I would do is I would add 1 over and then divide by 2. It would give me cosine squared equals 1 half. And then I would take the plus or minus square root of both sides. So I'd have cosine theta equals plus or minus 1 half. So what I'm looking for on the unit circle is where is the x-coordinate either positive one-half or negative one-half. That shows up in four places. That's going to be at pi over four, three pi over four, five pi over four, and seven pi over four. I'm sorry. I forgot to take the plus or minus square root. So when I square root that, when I square root one-half, that's going to give me square root of two over two, right? Square root of one-half. I'm going to get square root of 2 over 2. That's going to give me these four places. All right. Let's look at cosine squared minus cosine theta equals 0. This one I'm going to factor. All right. So I factor the cosine out from both of those. And then I set those equal to 0. And that's going to end up being equal to 1 because I'm, I'm going to add the 1 over. So where is the x coordinate? Zero. The x coordinate is going to be zero at pi over two and three pi over two. This is why, guys, this is so critical that you um, start remembering your unit circle. If you haven't memorized it already, start thinking about where those points are and really memorizing it in this way. So cosine theta equals one. Where is the x value, the x coordinate one on the unit circle? Well, it's either going to be at zero or two pi. But I'm not including 2 pi in my interval, so it's only going to be 0. And there we go. Those are our answers for that. Again, reviewing. We're solving trig equations. See you later.